Secondly, that they will be guided to know the murderer, as is related by Abu Salih from Ibn Abbas. Close quote. Now what this is referring to is this. Here's what, here's what this whole text is referring to because he's building up this point. Sometimes in Arabic, asfar, yellow, can be used to, to refer to something that is pale, because that's in the Arabic of the text, can be used to refer to something as pale. But in this case, they're saying, no, this cow, we know for a fact that it was a deep yellowish color. When you see a lot of cows when they're born, even when they're jerseys and others, they're usually a yellowish or a tawny or a khaki color when they're first born. They don't have their speckles or their spots first. So this cow, being young, two years old, didn't have all those speckles and spots yet as cows get as they age. So this was yellow. It was pleasing to the beholder. It wasn't an old cow that was infirm. And it wasn't one that was, that was too young. This was in the middle of that affair. Further to that, he says that he quotes the hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu said, had they not sought exception so much of the time, they would not have been dealt with as they were, as they would not have been dealt with what they were dealt. What that means, what that's referring to is, had they not asked so many questions and made matters so complex, they would not have suffered as they did. Not in this affair, but in everything else. The ulama say this is in everything else. So their laws are very complex and very long and stringent and difficult and they have hundreds of dietary laws because that's the type of disputation that they involve themselves in. They have all these laws where they're not to mix these crops or rotivate these crops and if they do, this is to happen to them. And if they mix these or if they, if they wear these fabrics, they might have to be put to death. And if they do these things and if they do, there's all these really intricate Heavily complex laws, if you look in their text in Leviticus and the other books that they have left over of their corrupted sharia, if you look in their books, there's an incredible amount of hardship that's in their books. And it's as the Prophet ﷺ said, had they not taken so much exception and asked so many questions, they would not have been dealt with as they were. And that goes with the hadith that the Prophet ﷺ gave in the... Khamsin of Imam al-Rajib rahimahullah in which he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that people before you were only destroyed because of excessive questioning and differing and contradicting their prophets. Now the question then comes is wait or hold on the children of Israel were just weren't they just being thorough and trying to get to the bottom of it? They were being thorough but at the same point they were going overboard in being thorough. They were being too particular. And so because of that, well, tell us what type of cow it is. Okay, tell us what color it is. Tell us, rather than going out and making the sincere nia and saying, we're going to take the best one that we can find. We're gonna, we've been told to slaughter a cow. Just find the best of what we can and then slaughter that. Rather than do that, they said, no, tell us what it must be. Call on your Lord, not our Lord. Not ask Allah, call on your Lord. To clarify, so that shows that there's, they're not in the spectrum of learning or trying to get to the bottom of things because they are referring to a law disrespectfully as saying, your Lord, call on your Lord to clarify to us and almost testing a law. And so this is where a lot of this is coming from and this is why this has happened. Now further to this, the Imam uh, Ibn Jawzi rahimahullah then says, quote, and so, we then move to where Allah the Exalted, He has said, قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ إِنَّهَا بَقْرَةٌ لَا ذَلُولٌ تُثِيرُ الْأَرْضَ وَلَا تَسْقِ الْحَرْثَ مُسَلَّمَةٌ لَا شِئَةَ فِيهَا قَالُوا الْآنَ جِئْتَ بِالْحَقُّ فَذَبَحُوهَا وَمَا كَادُوا يَفْعَلُونَ He said, Indeed, Your, Indeed Allah has said that it is to be a cow in which this cow is not to be used for other than a healthy purpose. It was born healthy. It was not worn out during plowing the earth 
or watering the field, and the cow was free from all blemishes and spots. They then said, Now you have come to us saying the truth. And they slaughtered the cow, although they almost did not do as they had been ordered. So the exalted one, when he said, Indeed, he, Allah, says that it is to be a cow that is healthy. This means, according to Qatada, that the cow was not overplowed, being used for the earth to plow the crops. Ibn Qutayba says that it's referring to the fact that the cow was not used for any but healthy uses. It was free. So whenever you refer to a person as overplowed, that means that they have had a rough life. And it should not be, the cow should not have been used to plow the earth, means that to plow crops, to pull the plow, or to plant the crops and to be used as a beast of burden because it was not made to be used for plowing. So it can't be a plowing cow that was taken because it is worn out. And this has been narrated from Ibn Qasim that Abu Hatim al-Sijistani explained that the punctuation stopped on that the cow is to be healthy. And then it said, then it was to continue saying, not plowing the earth, which is just a matter that has to do with punctuation. So the camel can the cow has not plowed the earth, it is healthy, and it has not been used to feed the crops either, in which case it would be equally as worn out. No, it is free from blemish and spot, just as Allah called it Musallama. Now there are four points regarding the word Musallama, blemishless, or free from spot. One is that it is free from defects, so it has no birth defects, as said by Ibn Abbas, Abu Aliya, Qatada, and Muqatil. And secondly, it's free from having been worked in the field, as said by Al Hassan and Ibn Qutayba. And thirdly, it is free from having been, it's free from having suffered any defects in its life or injuries as said by Mujahid, Ibn Zayd, and others. Fourthly, it is blemishless in its shape, its form, and its demeanor, as said by Ata al-Khurasani. As far as the expression used, la shi'ata fiha, this expression signifies that the color is the color that it bears is established it is not speckled it is not striped it is one complete color again showing that it is not an elderly cow So it doesn't have any other color in it that is going to mix with the other colors. Ata al-Khurasani has said, so its color is one alone without any mixing. Close quote. So what this is referring to is that the cow chosen is not what you will sometimes see on television where there'll be the Jersey cow. It has white and there are the black patches. Or you will see uh, the longhorn, whether it's the Pakistani longhorn or the others, and it has speckles. It will have brown spots or freckles on the face or an undercarriage that has color on it. If you look at the, the Pakistani longhorn, whether it's the bull or the cow, they will both have these speckles. This cow was solid. It was one color, all one color. So when you're imagining the cow, think. It's not, a, it's not just a cow. It is a calf. It's a calf. It's two years old. It hasn't been used to plow the field or feed the earth. So it hasn't been worked. It is moved around eating the herbage of the earth and the pasture. And it's all one color. 
And because it's two years old, it's going to be unhorned. Because they don't start really developing, the, the cows, at least some, a lot of the breeds, don't start developing horns until sometime later. So this cow is everything. It's graceful. It's harmless. It's innocent. It doesn't have any blemishes, so there are no markings on it. It hasn't been shooed. It has no uh, blemishes. Some of them you'll see that have been born. They will have blemishes uh, on them in which uh, they have cuts on their hooves or there's injuries or breakage, breakages in their hooves or maybe they've been branded. This one hasn't even been branded. Some people brand their cows and say this cow is from this farm. And you'll see a, a BA on a black Angus. This is from this farm, the black Angus farm. But this one, it hasn't been branded, it hasn't been cuffed, where it has a tag on its ear, nothing. It's just as pure as how it was born. And the proof of that is the Prophet Sallallahu once, he said, uh, the, every child is born pure on the fitrah. Do you not notice that when the cow is born, neither its ear is clipped or nor does it bear a brand? That hadith in Bukhari shows that that's the natural, pure, graceful state of the cow. So this cow is just like that. Find this one and then slaughter it. And then when they did, they said, now you've told us the truth. As if he hadn't been saying the truth before. Now you've told us the truth. Then they slaughtered the cow and then they dispensed with it and moved forward from there. Imam ibn Jawzi, rahimahullah, he then says, quote, so the exalted one has said about this. And now, they said, now you have come with the truth. Ibn Qutaybah says, the now referring to the time in which you are in. It is a time between two other times. When someone uses the expression al-an, it is from the past tense all the way to the future. That time in between there is called now. You've come with the haq. And that ayah is referring to, you've made the matter clear to us. And they almost didn't do it when they were ordered. Has two points that we need to consider about it. One of the reasons why they almost didn't do it when they were ordered is because of the expensiveness of the cow that was referred to. And this is mentioned by Ibn Ka'ab al-Qurdi. Secondly, it's due to the fear and scandal over themselves of finding out who the murderer is among them. This was said by Wahab. Ibn Abbas said, they waited and considered, and they looked for that cow for 40 years until they found it with a man. He didn't want to sell it to them, except, except for a full golden container of musk. And so they had to gather that. This is the statement of Mujahid, Ikrima, Ubaida, and Wahab ibn Zayd, and Al-Kalbi, and Muqatil, according to what was asked for. The reason why it was so expensive, this particular type of cow, is for two reasons. One of them is, they showed rigidity. And so Allah brought rigidity on them. And secondly, it's because Allah has honored the person that has this cow. Because the person that had that cow, according to narrations, was a righteous man to his parents. The scholars of commentary mention that he was an upright man and a young man from the children of Israel who was righteous to his father originally because that was the only one he had, a man came seeking the price of the cow that was with him. And he sought to sell the cow. But the keys were in the study of his father. And his father was sleeping. And he did not want to wake his father. So he returned to the buyer and he said to him, the price has now doubled in order to get rid of the buyer and not disturb his father. He then came back to his father after the buyer said, I'll take it. And he still found his father sleeping. So he returned to the buyer and again rebuked him and said, 
I can't give this to you. The buyer said, I'll double the price. 